in this video, I'm going to be surviving 100 days. So like, subscribe, and we, I will get right into day one. And on day one, I punched trees down like any other normal human being on the first day of Minecraft. And I punched some stone. Oh, we also saw this cave, so we decided to go mine. I cannot believe I missed this diamond. On day three, we exited the cave and I smelted up all my iron. And I made some iron tools, iron armor, and then we went out to kill as many animals as we can. looking for a place to make our base on day number four I made this mine for me and my friend so we can mine because that's what a mine does On day number five, we found this mine shaft, so we started to go mining. On day number six, I started making a little sugarcane farm and a nether portal. I also started working on a little farm. And then I saw these guys on our land, so I had to take them out. And then I drink milk. And then I bred the cows. And my friend doesn't know how to put bookshelves, so I had to do it. And then I bred the cows again. And then started working on our house. And then on day nine, I bred the cows again. And then started working on our house again. Put the doors in. And just ran around for some reason because I was bored. And then I chopped the trees down. And then I started putting the frame on the roof. And the floor. And my friend got a villager. But we had to deal with it in the morning. Um, we used a method where we put the villager in a boat and a minecart, and it was really easy. And then on day 12, I bred the cows again. I'm addicted. And then we, we tried to get mending on our villager, but we just couldn't. We even passed by efficiency four. And we went out to look for a village so we can get another villager, but we ended up giving up because we found this cave. And then we arrived back at the house on day 14, and then I slaughtered some cows. And then we went out to try to find another fortress. And we needed a bastion. And this happened. <laughs> Uh, 
And look at that. I got mending on my second try. So we put it on my pickaxe. And we made some vendor eyes. As vendor. And bows. And we are ready to fight the ender dragon. And then after a while searching, I finally found the portal. And as we said our last goodbyes, we jumped in. And as I got the last hit on the Ender Dragon, we did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon. So I got the egg, and we went home. And then I enchanted some of my stuff, because I got so many new levels. Then breeded the cows, and then took another villager from its home, because we finally found a village. And then I went right back to steal everything the villagers own, and steal another villager, because my friend wanted me to get another one even though we had two already. I brought them back and we used the same method to get them back in the... We made a hole for them actually this time. And then I put a roof on the mending villagers little house. Don't worry, I finished it. On day 24. And I also mined some sand for some glass. So we put it over the villager cage. We got the final villager in. Let's go. And I built a potato farm because we need potatoes to breed our villagers. I put a frame around the hole, and then bred the cows again, because they need to get bread. Place down a fletching table, so we can finally sell them sticks to get emeralds. And as I woke up, I made myself some pants, because I needed me some pants. Then I bred the cows again, and then put some more roof frames on the house. Not finished yet though. Put some trap doors, and then some windows. And then I'm like, breathe the cows again. Place some beds in the villager hole so they can make more babies. And then woke up on. And then for some reason, I went AFK. And I placed a lot of clay. And then I broke a lot of clay. And then placed a lot, of, broke a lot of potatoes. And placed a lot of potatoes. And then went to bed. Made some bricks so I can make my chimney. And then slaughtered some cows. And then we went back to the end portal so we can go and get an elytra. And then I found an um, end city and I got the elytra. And then I flew over to another end city so I can get my friend an elytra. And these are the materials for our enderman farm. A good time to tell you that in this video half of it is me getting rich and the other half is it is building <laughs> and we got all the cobblestone we need for the farm and then I let some sheep back so I can put them in a hole and then build a fence and shear them And then on day 30, I started on making a sheep farm because we needed a bunch of carpet for the Enderman farm. So I just started making a sheep farm. And this is the Enderman farm. I didn't have any footage of me making it. 
I'm so and then I got some enchantments. And then I had to eat supper in real life. Six days. On day 45, I somehow woke up twice. Made a potato, harvest a potato farm, and woke up to this guy, full nether. And then he let and gave me some of his nether. Now I got some more materials for a base I'm gonna make. More of a house, I would say. And I finished the house. And then I started work on a mini. We were gonna, then we were gonna build a mob farm, so I had to get all the resources for that with my friend, and he helped out a lot because he was the one that wanted a mob farm. And then I started making it. And then I spent the rest of the 100 days building. <laughs> <laughs>